Tally ho everybody and welcome once again to Purple Thunder Wolf. My name is James Wolf and today I have worms. Yes, that's right. I have worms. Worms World Party. A classic PC title full of fun and mayhem. There have been many, many worms games in the history of this title by the uh, company called Team 17. All the way back to, the, I believe, DOS, very pixelated games. All the way through to three-dimensional versions on the Playstations and Xboxes. And this particular one, I think, is the best version. I played this a lot, many, many years ago. So, quick rundown of what Worms is. You have a team full of little worm men and a bunch of crazy weapons. Your goal is to try and take it in turns and eliminate the entire team off the map completely. But some of them, some of the weapons require skill, uh, so you need to aim, use the wind direction. Some of them simply require you to drop them and run. So there's a whole bunch of crazy, crazy things in this game. It's really, really fun. So we're just going to jump straight in. We're going to play a map on the full wormage rules, which means we have access to absolutely everything, just so I can show you some of the crazy stuff. As you can see up here, we are represented by Team Purple Thunder Wolf. We are versing Team Horror. Uh, you can have up to eight worms on your team, so we could lower this if we wanted, but we're going to have an eight on eight. And we are simply going to jump straight into the action. After this, hopefully, we will play maybe a serious game with the rules, a little bit more skill-based. And here we have worms. So we start off with our first character, who we can move around. And if you see on the right here, we have the full drop box full of weapons. Uh... Or maybe not the full drop box. Oh, a couple of the ones that are aerial based will not be available in this one because obviously there's a roof and the roof makes it difficult. Uh, we, however, shall... Now because he's down here, it makes it slightly difficult. Get on with it. If I uh, use an explosive, it won't work. Oh, running out of time. Oh, oh. If we use an explosive, it probably would have killed us all. So if you knock a worm into the water, he is dead. Uh, and if you wear him out to zero health, he will kill himself and die. The goal, of course, being to eliminate everyone on the opposite team. Hopefully the volume... Hopefully you can hear me on the, the volume of the game. I've had a lot of problems with this. The game doesn't seem to have any volume controls whatsoever. Which does make it rather difficult. Um... I think I will drop the dynamite. And then run like all get out. Mustache. So if you saw there, Werewolf took the most of that damage, but Demon and Jessica also took a little bit of damage. They were within range of the shockwave. Quite often that's one of the things that can win or lose you these games. It's not so much whether you're being attacked directly, it's Sorry, whether you end up didn't see you there, old man. being part of the collateral damage surrounding... Uh, you can also take falling damage, so if you get nudged or slide down the side of a thing and fall and hurt yourself, you can take damage. The flame barrels explode into a napalm-like substance, which means that uh, you you sit and kind of bounce around on the flamey hot napalm. Uh, let's see now. I think I think we're gonna use the bat if, if I can make the. Get on with it! Nope, we're not going to do that. I should use a shotgun. I'm running out of time. Uh, time for tea. Oh, I missed my. T oh, I missed it. You can change the time length of your turns. However, you do have a limited time to. I think oh, this is set to 30 seconds. And if you can see down the bottom corner there, there's also a 13-minute timer. After that long, we go into sudden death. The water level starts rising right turn by that. turn. Yes, sir. Uh, and it all becomes much, much more urgent. Okay. I think... I think we should use the shotgun for this one as well. Got her. You have to watch when you're sitting on the edge there. Sometimes you, you're not far enough under the edge and you will hit the ground beneath you and you will end up shooting yourself in the face. Uh, nothing much else I can do with this. Let's just make a bit of a hole over here. I 
As you can see, you also pick up health crates. Every, every now and then they drop health crates. There are little tiny landmines that can be triggered. Did you see that? Did you? That one there is the bazooka. That's one of the most common weapons in the game. But it does, it is affected by arc of trajectory. And in the background there, you can see uh, there's wind blowing. The direction of the wind does change. There you go, change back in the other direction. Quite strong wind. So trying to fire into that could be very difficult. So we shall use the grappling hook. And we will leave him with the holy hand grenade. And try and escape out of here. There, it. Oh, there we go. Holy hand grenade, one of my favorites. Quite, quite a large amount of damage there. You can see a big, big circle of death. You can also change the worm's standard health. They usually start with about 100. I like to go with 200. It just prolongs the game a little bit. Some of the uh, maps don't have this roof on it. They are more like an island. So there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with those ones. Now, I'm going to... Can I make the jump? Yes? No. Oh, uh, that's not fair. Well, that's another one in the water. You can see Team Purple Thunder Wolf is made up of some of the classics on our channel. There we had Jessica and James Wolf. We have Adnan and D Money. Also, Snack Pack for those of you who watch the videos. Please subscribe. And Wolfric, Wolfric's in here somewhere. Now, this isn't going to be much use to me, so. I'm going to use a teleporter, and we are going to. I'm going to use a teleporter and teleport right on top of that health crate, and we're going to try and use him to take out the other two, the bummy and the ghost. Of course, the vampires also over on that side. I've got to remember him. Did you see that? Yeah, and that's that's me, James Wolf, in the water. Sorry, bye bye. Didn't see you there, old man. Yes, sir. Unfortunate. Okay. Now please subscribe, there's a few of my guys over here, we probably don't want to attack them. We will however drop something in the hole with the zombie here. Just for fun. What what will I drop? We shall drop the old woman. Go old woman! Oh, didn't quite get him, I forgot the old woman can't be triggered. Some of the bombs, once you release them, can be kind of triggered at will. Uh, other ones have a timer, so you have to wait for them to go off. Yes, sir. Okay. What? We'll use Jessica to try and take out Demon and possibly the werewolf. Can we? I think maybe the mad cows. <laughs> And I actually ended up killing Jessica there, but I took out two of their worms as well. What rotten luck. So Phantom and Werewolf go as does Jessica. Jessica, in death, has nobly sacrificed herself yeah. for the team. Excellent. That is the difference between a good worms player and a moderately good worms player. Good worms players will have their team remaining when they've finished. Players who are like me, who haven't played for quite some time, tend to have to kill themselves in order to get anything done. I, really should, I wish I could show you some of the really crazy. There's a couple of really good crazy Sorry. ones. <laughs> Didn't see you there, but they're all outdoors based. Okay, so I think it's time the vampire. I think it's time we showed the vampire what for. We shall back jump. We shall use the sheep launcher. Oh, that was. Oh, dear, money's in the water. Oh, dear. What rotten luck. Good deal of skill with this game is also knowing, like I said, your your explosion radiuses. See, I didn't realize that was going to detonate quite so much. Which, of course, then detonated the barrel, which detonated the other barrel. Collateral damage is a big part of this game. Controlling collateral damage can win you or lose you the game, basically. So it's always pays to kind of know, know your weapons and know how much they're going to do. 
You also have a bunch of weapons yes, like a blowtorch or a uh, jackhammer. This is a utility bar along here. Uh, therefore, escaping and hiding and defending. Now... I think what we will do is we will fire punch. Well, we're going to end up hurting Adnan as well here, but we don't really have much choice. We need to get you out of there. So we shall fire punch. Which separated Adnan from Vampire. So Team Horror still winning. Got a little bit more health. The bars down the bottom with the score there will show whoever's winning. It'll, it'll yeah, take into consideration won. health. So they're winning because their remaining worms have more health than mine do. Yes, so I think I'm winning on sheer numbers. Now this one's a bit of a no-brainer. One of my favorite explosives, you just drop it and run. The dynamite usually does the trick for me. What the devil? Ow. Ow. And that's three. Nope. Oh, just Here two. Two out of three. Mummy's on the brink. So it's three versus uh, four. Snack Pack, Adnan, Wolfric, and Lee Sub Scrib. Did you see that? Did oh, you? Oh, still there. Oh, oh, and Snack Pack survives. Oh, a little bit more napalm though. Oh, more napalm carry him into the water. No. Oh, Sorry. Close. Didn't see you there, old man. That napalm will kind of. When you hit the napalm, you bounce up and down a little bit. So you can kind of get carried on a wave of napalm into the water. Right, let us obtain this health. Reinforcements. And then we shall... And then we shall drop the holy hand grenade and run. And zombies in the water. Perfect. Uh, Scrub didn't even take any damage. Excellent, even better. And the health crate goes in the water too. What's Vampire going to do? He's going to pick up some health. He's going to try and take Adnan and Wolfric out both at the same time. Oh, grenade, that was a bad idea. Vampire is in the water. He's taking Wolfric with him. Awful business, what? Which means Mummy's all alone. Against the snack pack. Now, it's not actually Snack Pack's turn, however, in this particular version we can, if I can get this right. There we go. And we are going to use the classic bazooka to end this one. And we are simply going to blow him to Kingdom Come. Oops, Snack Pack's in the water too, but it does not matter. Victory for Purple Thunder Wolf. Victory! That's right, victory. Adnan, and please subscribe, remain. Okay, so that was just an 11 minute game, not too long. One of the round was Snack Pack from Thunderwolf. Most kills with one shot was three by Jessica. And the most damage was also Jessica, with a combined total of 531 damage. That's extremely good. Uh, normally these go in uh, two wins for a, a round, a match. So maybe we will, uh, we will do this again. I will pick one of the pre-made levels rather than just a random one. We will go... Let's go snow. Let's go for the snow level. And then maybe in another episode we will have a look at the standard less... less uh, crazy version. Did you see that? It's a more skill based version. I do believe you're losing. Yes, sir! Right. Where is everybody? Now, this time we have some of the crazy stuff. So we're gonna do that. Uh, unfortunately for D-Money and Wolfric and the others, this is going to get messy, but we're going to drop some cheap. Some dancing, exploding cheap. <laughs> now, who did I do more damage to? I think Wolfric definitely lost out on Oh, sorry, Wolf. I'm going to, of course, try and show you how to win at this whilst also doing some crazy yeah. stuff. Oh, Jay Wolf is definitely finished. Bye, mate. Thank you. I'd say the old boys kicked the bucket. The downside with the ones without the roof is that you can just be punted straight into the water. Yes, sir. One of my favourite moves is still using the baseball bat and just 
drilling, drilling people uh, into the water. And we shall use the jetpack. And we shall drop the. Reinforcements. Drop the dynamite, but we missed completely. Oh no! Oh, we still did some damage. We did some damage to vampire with shockwave. Ignited at the barrel. Everybody taking damage. If I have to go, I'm taking you all with me. Did you see that? Did you? Computer, of course, always manages to make its angled shots perfectly. Sorry, I that process of brain. Yes, sir. Okay. We need to get Ghost out of here so we can take some shots. I'm going to use one of my favourites. Oh, I know what I know. I know what I'm going to do. Where is it? Where is the anti-grav? We're going to put on low gravity, and then we're going to put on the baseball bat. We're going to aim it nice and high. And the low gravity, of course, means that the ghost floats off into the distance. We hit a home run, ladies and gentlemen. Home run. <laughs> Actually, low gravity is really fun, especially when you get the crazy explosions. Like with those sheep I dropped before, they all bounce all over the place and just cause mayhem galore. Team money goes into the water. I said, old boys, kick the bucket. Yes, sir. I wonder if we. I wonder if we should do arm again. I'll do the nuclear test first, and then we'll do arm again. And so I shall show you the nuclear test. So everybody is now poisoned. We are now radiated, and the water starts rising. Actually, does the water keep rising? No, the water rises a little bit. We lost a couple there. Everybody loses two health every turn. I believe when you pick up health crate, you lose your nuclear radiation. You can see the green glow around the name there. So time is now limited for everybody. Everybody's coughing and spluttering. Shot. You'll regret that. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, I want to show the concrete donkey. However, we shall show you arm again. I have a feeling this will end with nobody surviving, but we shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, arm again. That's right. Melting the level with meteorites relentlessly. Usually there's barely even any level left by the time this is finished. I'm sure you can hear me. <laughs> oh, glorious. Oh, oh, the wall looks like I might have some survivors. Yes! Snapback and the wall are gone. There's still three worms left. I'm out of here. Well, that, uh, that lowered the odds a little bit. What's Phantom gonna do? Right gonna call in an airstrike. Oh. And then James Wolf. You'll regret that. Not quite dead, which means. Oh! Oh, and then killed himself. Is that enough to finish off James Wolf? It is! Oh, it's I'm over! Phantom with the victory! Oh, I was gonna concrete donkey you into the ground too. Seems like it's all over, old chap. Team Horror picks up the victory. Ah. <laughs> uh, one of the round was please subscribe. With most kills with one shot was eight. And 1200 damage. That would have been from the Armageddon, of course. Uh, we shall pick a different one now. And we shall have the final round. Yes, sir. The final round. And now I shall show you the Concrete Donkey, one of my favourites. We shall drop it here. My toast. The donkey basically goes up and down. One pattern, anything underneath it gets crushed. And as you can see, it does a lot of damage in the process. Party's over. Another health bundle. Typically when you're facing the computer, the computer won't use some of the super weapons too much. Did you see that? I think the Did most you? extreme that they usually use is the, uh, the airstrike. They tend Next not to use the high-end right. super weapons, which is a little bit cheating on your part, but there's really no way of convincing the computer AI to use them. Yes, sir! 
even in the modes that allow it. What other crazy weapons can we use? Carpet bomb? I think we can carpet bomb. My toast. Not the one where the, the, the carpet will about to explode. Another one down from their team. Well, we'll fall alone. What's he going to do? Did you see that? Going to grenade. Good lord. And subscribe. Next time, you're mine. Now, what can we do this time? We've only got uh, three yes, of their ones sir. left. We shall pick up the health crate. Reinforcements! We shall... We shall throw the super banana. That one's always fun. Watch this! Bouncy, bouncy bananas! Ow. Yes, I know I killed myself. Do try and pay attention. I should have thrown a little bit further in on that one, but never mind. Uh, if you're wondering where to pick this game up from, if you're interested, I downloaded this from Steam. Steam is a host Damn. client which has a online store you can buy games, new games, some games that are not in shops, sometimes old games. Yes, sir. We are not uh, sponsored by Steam, we are not sponsored by any of the companies whose products we use on this channel. I simply uh, buy the stuff myself and deal with it. Let's use the earthquake, shall we? Everybody in the water. But, uh, you may be able to find online, maybe on eBay or something, an old version of Worms World Party. Or Worms Armageddon was a very similar version of this game. I remind our viewers, as always, to please subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos. We have our snack pack videos yes, where we sample international snacks and treats. The Wolfrix Adventures World of Warcraft playthrough. Uh, we have a, there's at least one Hearthstone video up at the moment. And there will be more vlogs eventually. Nothing too phenomenally interesting happening at the moment, so I haven't um, I haven't done too many vlogs at the moment. We shall drop the big heavy thing. Oh dear. Well, that didn't do anything. Oops. Uh, yeah, so there'll be more vlogs eventually. Uh, but for the moment, Snack Pack and the Wolfing's Adventures are our main videos. Although if people seem to like this Worms video, we will do some more Worms matches. I said old boys kick the with, uh, yes, with the regular sir. rules, and we could play with some strange rules as well. Hopefully I can also get uh, some friends and we can play this against each other. Because that makes it all the much more interesting. I think we should go with the sheep bomb again. Just to speed this game up a little bit. As you can see, even with the super weapons, you're not always guaranteed of an instant victory. Sometimes worms are in the wrong position, you can't capitalize. You can only take one out at a time. Nice melee move there. So, Sorry, didn't see you there, two down there ah. and two there. <laughs> so we're going to betray Snack Pack a little bit here and we are going to jettison ourselves to safety. And we're going to take out one of their, one of their worms. So J-Wolf versus the Werewolf. It's down to two. He's got a little bit more health than I do. Hopefully he hasn't got a clear shot from there. Well, hello. He's definitely got more health now. Right ho! Air strike. Oh, does some damage. Is it enough? Just you wait. Not even close. Yes, sir. Well, that was a mistake. Because now we're gonna crush you into the ground. Make toast! Bye, Werewolf. Thanks for coming. Oh! Oh, j -Wolf's in, oh, j Wolf's in the water as well. Tie game. 
That's disappointing. We had it in the palm of our hand. But I used overkill. One of the round, James Wolf with 978 damage. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was Worms World Party. Uh, remember to like, favorite, subscribe, share with all your friends. And please, please, please watch the videos. Those views are what really, really matters. The more views, the more content I can create. Thank you very much. My name has been James Wolf. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.